Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and this is part two of drawing Pokemon from memory. I do have a part one and I will leave a link to that up above and down below so you can check that out too. I have all the Pokemon from generation one in this tin and I am just picking one out at random and seeing what it is and then I will be drawing it from memory. So the first one I've picked out is Drowsy and it's quite a difficult one. It's not too bad. Could have been worse to start with. So let's see how well I can draw Drowsy from memory. So I'm sketching out him first or her because Pokemon can be both genders. I'm sketching out Drowsy first and then I'll line it with a fine liner and also colour it in with my markers. That was me trying to show you the hand motion that Drowsy does. It's kind of, does kind of like an aeroplane motion with both hands at once and does like a wavy thing with his hands and I was trying to get that in the drawing but it didn't really work. This is probably the most derpy looking Drowsy that I've ever seen. It was quite hard. I kind of pictured it in my head but it was really difficult to relay that onto paper and it's really tempting during this challenge to look up the Pokemon while you're drawing them because you're so used to doing that. You think you know what a Pokemon looks like but then when you try and translate that onto paper it's quite difficult. So I'm colouring in the top half of him yellow, getting two different shades of yellow because shading is good and then a grey brown colour where I mixed a brown and a grey to get a grey brown colour because I didn't have the exact marker that I knew the colour was and he kind of has like an elephant trunk so that's what I did. I added some lines and added some highlights in my gel pen because I thought that would help and now I am comparing my drowsy to the actual drowsy by the Pokemon company and yeah it, it's quite different. I didn't get the wavy bit of the brown and he's a bit bigger on the bottom half but it's not too bad you can tell who it is. So the next Pokemon I am picking out is dum 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 drum roll I can't sound a drum roll so that just sounds really weird. So hurry up and pick out the Pokemon Katie. Here we go. Here we go. What is it going to be? The suspense is probably killing you right now. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a Goldeen. I don't really know why I'm so surprised because I'm doing this as a voiceover because I don't have a microphone that will let me do it at the time. So I'm just pretending that I'm surprised and it's new information. So anyway, let's draw a Goldeen. I really like how this one turned out, even though it didn't look 100% right. I like how kind of derpy it looks again. And I quite like the round shape. It's a bit more of a puffer fish look than kind of a goldfish look and I'm colouring it in with some oranges and some greys and I really do like how this piece turned out. I think she's quite cute or he's quite cute as we've already established Pokemon or boys and girls. Yeah I really like how it turns out and I think it to me is almost better than the original. I know that's quite a bold statement to make but it's better than the original and I will put up what Goldeen looks like on screen right now for you so you can compare and see which one you think is better. Mine's better. So yeah, here is Goldeen. So the next Pokemon I picked out, which I accidentally didn't film because I'm a great YouTuber, was Bellsprout and I was really pleased with this one because it's quite easy. It has quite a distinctive mouth that kind of goes like an O and two leaves that kind of look like it's flailing and running away and some roots for his legs and to be honest it looks pretty similar except I added an extra root so I was quite happy with how this one turned out and I think it was the most like the original out of all of them so I coloured it in yellow, added a little bit of texture, coloured the mouth in red, coloured the leaves in green, coloured the roots in brown, pretty standard really. So while I'm finishing off Bellsprout I just wanted to say that I realised when I was doing this, the importance of doing stuff from memory sometimes, I'm not saying you should do it a lot, do it all the time, but if you do stuff from memory, it kind of forces out your style a little bit. It forces out your own stylistic techniques and I can really see that in these Pokemon images. They're definitely very much in my style. So I would recommend doing a couple of exercises where you draw from memory just every so often. Don't have to be Pokemon if you're not a Pokemon fan, you know, we don't all like Pokemon. They can be animals, they can be food, objects. I just think it's a really good way of finding your style. If you're struggling to find your art style, 
drawing something from memory is a really good way and then you can also compare to how the thing looks in real life or on the photograph but it does bring out your style and is a really good exercise so that is what I would recommend. Yeah here is the little bell sprout like I said pretty pretty standard and not really much else to say about him he's quite cute still quite derpy it's the theme really with <laughs> with this challenge it's a bit of a derpy looking bell sprout so the next pokemon i picked out of my pokemon tin of gen 1 was rhydon and <laughs> this one was the hardest one out of all of them and probably the most unlike the original <laughs> let's just say i was just trying to visualize it in my head i don't really know why i'm taking a photo of the text maybe i was in a chat with someone at the time and sent them sent them what i'd picked out and cried to them because i couldn't quite visualize it i knew he had a couple of things on his head and he had a horn but i thought he had two horns but he doesn't have two horns and yeah there's me taking a photo and sending it to whoever i was chatting with um yeah it was really really difficult i knew he had a tail and you had ears it's kind of like a, a rhinoceros that's why it's called rhydon but yeah it just looks a bit more like a kangas can slash armadillo slash i don't know what this is i think the positive i could probably say about my rhydon was the color was quite good it was pretty spot on but again it's a rhino so gonna be grey <laughs> but yeah his face is just I just couldn't translate what I had in my head that was his face I couldn't translate that to the drawing it just wasn't happening and I did miss a couple of bits from the side of his face as well and yeah this one is just I feel it it ruins the page because the rest of them are okay they're passable but this one is just no it's 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 not my best work but I think it's still quite cute all the same. It's, it, it, again, it's very derpy. My style I'm learning is quite derpy, really. Which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. But yeah, here, here he is. He's looking like he's a bit more finished now. So I'm putting some white highlights, especially on the horn. Or what I think are both of the horns, even though there's only one horn. But yeah, again, taking a picture. Showing the people in the chat. I think I was in a discord chat after someone's stream we were talking about pokemon and i was showing what i was doing pretty sure that's what i was doing so yeah there's there's my my ride on and let's compare it to the real ride on well not the real one but the ride on that pokemon designed and yes as you can see mine is very different just just yeah just pretend that doesn't exist <laughs> so yeah that's that's my attempt at ride on so moving on to the next pokemon the next pokemon i picked was dodrio and this is a bird pokemon it's a three-headed bird pokemon but when i started drawing it i thought it only had two heads i got confused with dodrio Dodrio, no, Doduo. I got confused, so I had to squeeze in an extra head. So I ended up putting it between the two other heads so the beak is behind it. This one, again, it's quite derpy, but it's kind of cute. I kind of like the jaunty angle of the feet. It kind of looks like it's waddling around and it has quite a bit of movement to it, which I'm quite pleased with. It's quite easy one, which I thought it was quite easy. I did get a couple of things wrong. I didn't get the black bits on top of its head and I got the neck, neck a bit wrong but overall you can tell it's a dodrio not a doduo a dodrio because it's a bird with three heads but again it's probably because Do dodrio is a distinct enough pokemon so even if you don't get the features 100% right as long as you give it three heads some wings some legs kind of like an ostrich with three heads i think i think that's what what it's going with i think but yeah it looks okay it's it's all right it's no it's no ride on <laughs> which is probably a good thing to be honest <laughs> this ride on will probably haunt my dreams like the guy arados in my last one the guy arados was 
but that was in a good way i think that is still one of my favorite drawings it's still on my fridge the gyarados so definitely go and check out part one if you want to see my gyarados from memory it is probably one of my best best drawings of all time but yeah just adding some nice nice shading to dodriona giving him a bit of a shadow and here is what the real dodrio looks like like you see i've missed out some black bits mine looks definitely less angry than that one so there you go there's there's my attempt at dodrio so the next pokemon that i picked out from my tin was let's let's wait for it and pretend this is a live voice not a voiceover was tangela and this one again was quite easy like bellsprout it's basically just a tangle of blue grass apparently it's meant to be like a medusa i think i watched it in a video can't remember what video of pokemon facts i was watching but that is what tangela is meant to be it's basically a mass of blue grass with some eyes and some red feet and again like the bellsprout i think this is the most like the original that it is so enjoy the little speed draw of tangela i used a lighter blue for the grass and a prussian blue for his inside bit where the eyes are because i can't do a video really with markers without using prussian blue it's very rare that this happens so yeah i was pleased with this one there isn't really that much to say about it it looks very similar so i'm adding on some white highlights again but yeah i kind of like it he's again not quite as derpy as the others there we go oh yes there's the there's the tangela there we go so now we are going to move on to the next pokemon and the final pokemon because i had a bit of space up top and it is a persian and this is a cat pokemon i like cats so this was a good pick i decided to give him apparently a little bit of a mouse featured face there is definitely essence of charlie in in this this persian he looks more like a mouse face than a cat face but i did get the color of the charm right so that's really cool i was confused because meow's charm is gold i think but a persian's charm on his forehead is a ready pink color so this is my persian i used a skin tone to do his body and added some highlights to his paws and to his body and i colored in his ears black and i think you can definitely tell it's meant to be a persian so that's really good it's not 100 percent accurate but never mind here is the actual persian on screen for you to compare so after all of that here is all of them all together with a selection of pokemon merch a selection of pokemon merch that you can see that has been there for the whole time but you know let me know in the comments which one is your favorite i think the persian is my favorite just because of the essence of charlie but i do like the ride hunt just because just because it's very special looking so that is all for today's video i do have some other pokemon videos if you would like to check them out i'll leave a playlist up above and down below and go and check out part one if you enjoyed this one but that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now